welcome to an unboxing of a product that I think probably like 80% of the people with a wireless network at home need, even if they don't already know that they need it. This is the RE1000 wireless and range extender. And now how many times at your house have you gone, you know, sort of just out of range of your wireless network? Like maybe you're sitting on the patio or maybe you're in your garage working on something and in frustration you see that you've got like one bar of wireless strength and then you try to transfer a file and it drops out and it doesn't work. I mean really you can't blame the wireless because you put so many obstacles like walls and cars and small crying children in between your router and your device and you're gonna run into reception problems. So this is from Cisco or Linksys by Cisco I should say. This is a way to easily increase wireless network coverage throughout your home or business or wherever you want wireless network coverage, even in your car if you wanted to, although it would only work when you're close to your router, which is at home. Okay, home, fine. So 2.4 gigahertz band, ethernet bridge, advanced security, and easy setup. The Cisco Advantage, cutting edge technology from the networking leader. Yep, they're pretty undisputed there. Best in class security, okay. Award winning 24 seven customer support and a one year limited warranty. Broad compatibility works seamlessly with all BGN Wi-Fi devices. Cool, so I don't even need a Cisco or Linksys router in order to get this to work. Flexible placement, all you do is plug into a wall outlet or desktop placement options to optimize, okay, cool. Uh, easy setup, we've talked about that. Push button security for Wi-Fi protected setup, WPS. Fast Ethernet built in and quality of service delivers smooth video and gaming performance. Awesome. So here's a little diagram, but let's talk about the diagram after. Oh, hold on. Ideal for enjoying added in home mobility, surfing the web, gaming and chatting online in hard to reach areas. And finally, easily connecting to an internet ready TV or Blu-ray player. So let's open it up. Unboxing quickly by Linus Tech Tips. Okay, so we find a bracket. We find a power cord. Oh, and it dropped. Okay, got it. Nice long power cord. Look at this. It's approximately one Linus arm span in length. And then we have an Ethernet cable, which I will check the length for you as well with my convenient and easy to replicate units of measurement. Let's see, what shall I use as a unit of measurement today? Maybe I'll use... Hmm. NCIX lanyards. Okay, approximately how many NCIX lanyards long is this? Looks like about three and a half NCIX lanyards in length for that particular Ethernet cable. Also known as six feet. No, four feet. Okay, I'm not even going to try and guess in real units of measurement. Not that I really consider imperial units to be real units of measurement, but you know, that's a whole other argument. Um, here we have the actual wireless and range extender unit itself. You got a little illuminated Cisco logo right about there. You've got uh, the two mounting options that they do talk about. So the one is you take this guy right here, you throw it right here. There you go. And then you are plugging that into the wall and that's your range extender. There's your WPS one touch setup button. There's your reset switch if you need to do a hard reset. On the bottom of the unit, there is your 10100 fast ethernet port. And if you do not want to use that option, you can also throw this guy on here. Hmm. There you go. And then you can plug in the power cord and that might get you that little bit of extra reach. Maybe you want to like plug it in at the bottom and then put it up on like a windowsill so that you get better range in your backyard. Now, before we go any further on this, because I think that's pretty much all there is to say about it. No, no, there's some documentation. So there's a setup CD. So you're going to want to actually, you know, might want to use this just because uh, it's going to make life a little bit easier in terms of configuration for this guy. Uh, Avoid placing the extender. Ah, here! Tips for successful setup. So this is what I was just about to talk to. 
or talk about. Avoid placing the extender or associated router access point near metal objects, reflective surfaces, and masonry walls. Okay. Place the extender close to the router or access point during initial setup, then move the extender to its final location after setup, and for the best positioning of your extender, test it in multiple locations. Now what Cisco hasn't mentioned, or Linksys, or Cisco, I don't know, one of the two. Linksys. What Linksys hasn't mentioned about this product is that it's imperative that you do not place it where the reception is bad. Because if you take this device and let's say you want to have access in the garden and you put it in the garden thinking that now it's going to like create a wireless signal. It doesn't work that way. You ha this is a wireless client. So you have to put this where it's going to get good reception rather than where it has bad reception already. So I'm going to diagram this out for you guys. And I'm going to like find a pen somewhere. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to go find a pen and the slick over there is going to have a closer look at uh, the access point, which is fascinating. Okay, so here's your house. Pardon my terrible drawing. That's your house. Uh, this is your garage with your car in it. Oh, wow. Okay. There you go with your car in it. And then on the second floor, you have your wireless router. See, that represents a wireless router, that little box right there. Okay, so let's say this is the range of your wireless router. And you're in the garage and you're like, rage face. You know, like, ah, this kind of face, okay? Because you can't quite reach. So instead of putting your extender right here, where it's also not going to have reception, you want to throw your extender like over here. Like, you know, maybe at a window here or something like that. So basically what you're doing is you're taking that range and you're making it just a little bit bigger. That's the point. So there you go. Thank you for checking out my unboxing and first look and positioning guide on the RE1000 from Cisco, Linksys by Cisco. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.